Nothing happens. Everybody gets excited about nothing. Everything worked just fine. I was hoping, I was hoping, sat there hoping that my bank would make a big mistake and give me about a million bucks. And then, Nina, you wouldn't know me because I wouldn't be here. That's great news. Well, coming up right now, we have Jennifer Lopez and she spent all of her life waiting for tonight. Now, why would she do that? Huh? I suppose she huh? wanted to sing that song. I, <laughs> I know okay. I'm really bad. I, I, I'm just, I was hoping for the million bucks. But then, Jennifer then what? Lopez... Her butt what? <laughs> Here's Jennifer Lopez with Waiting for Tonight. Today is the bitch of the day, and the bitch of the day is working. Right? I hate working. I hate working just because I hate working. I mean, working. Yeah, we have a reason, right? Yeah, working. No. Chill. Yes. The number one bitch of the day is traveling. I mean, imagine driving through all that traffic just to get to office and be yelled at by your boss for coming late. I mean, you know what that feels like, don't you, Dee? I mean, I'm trying to say something, yeah? but anyway, the worst part about it, I mean, this is the worst bitch, your colleagues, who bitch about other people all the time. Do you know Mrs. Sharma is sleeping with her secretary's mother-in-law? They can't get it right and they try bitching. Oh, hate you. Well, bitch number three about work is asking the admin department for anything, be it a stapler or a new chair. I mean, admin will take only about three years to process your request, by which time you've retired and settled in Mauritius. <laughs> Why would they go to Mauritius, have a life? They're a better place of, like, a pizza. <laughs> okay, and the number four bitch about work is meetings. Why do people meet, anyway? I mean, if people really wanted to do things, they would just do it. Why call meetings? Why have meetings? No meetings ever achieve anything. I mean... Okay, I got the drift. And the worst thing about working is having a boss. I mean, to have a boss and you have to hate him or her. But if my boss is watching this, we love you. Right, Yudi? I also hate people who kiss up to other people. Don't know any people like that, but I do know that our next song is Bittersweet Symphony by The Verve. And don't forget, later in the show, we have theater actor and photographer Bhavan Irani who's going to be here and Yudi is going to be out. Yudi, and we have some great information for you now, so listen carefully. There's a doctor in Bombay called Dr. Sailesh Malde. Yeah, now Dr. Malde is not just an ordinary doctor. He has started the first free sex helpline in India. Anybody can call Dr. Malde and you don't have to reveal your name your address or your phone number, you can ask him any questions about sex and he will be glad to answer it to you. Dr. Malde operates only out of Bombay and only at these times. You can call Dr. Salesh Malde at 022-806-0606. But you can only call him at certain times. You can't call him in the middle of the night and harass him to be, you know, friendly. So be a little considerate. You can call Dr. Malde on Saturdays between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. and between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. on Saturdays. This service is free and confidential. Dr. Malde is a qualified sexologist and andrologist. So if you have any nagging questions about sex, feel free to call Dr. Silish Malde in Mumbai. And from Dr. Malde, we move to I Do by 90 degrees. And have a, and a little later in the show, we have... Did you say Bowman Irani? Yeah, he's a real funny guy. You think so? Yeah. So don't we'll go away. We'll find out.